Hi, Mike. So welcome back. We are working on getting you more consistent off the tee. We're just making clean contact, getting the ball out there a couple hundred yards. And we're trying to get you to hit some clean short shots. Really what we're trying to do is avoid the severe miss hits. Severe miss hit is the ground before the ball or the inside part of the club. We could get away with not catching any ground, a little more of a thin shot. We could get away with catching a little bit on the toe. But heel shots and, and ground shots, that's, that's what we're working on. And so what was happening when you're hitting some of these short shots, uh, this golf club, it was coming down on the outside part of the ball. And so when this club would come down, it, it gets outside of our target line. This particular case, it got pretty severe outside of the target line. You remember us talking, we don't ever want the ball or the club out there. So I have, um, and then you hit it on the heel and then it rolls. So I had two drills to help you uh, not hit it on the heel. Uh, this first one's the box. So we want to uh, set up with the ball very close to the box. And I'm drawing a fair line. We want this golf club to approach ever so slightly from the inside. And so that's where, that's where solid shots come from. You're able to hit this clean and the box is untouched. Okay. And so that's a, a fairly simple drill you could do at home. The other drill you could do would be uh, the two ball drill, which was right here. This is the first one that kind of got us, got us going. Where we're swinging back and we're trying to hit the inside golf ball. <laughs> and so all that does, it means that we started with uh, the club right here and then it returned somewhere inside of that. And the fact that you're able to do that tells me that you have some hand-eye coordination and you can do this. Um, the, the big thing though is recognizing what's going on. Use the foot powder, get it at Walgreens, it's five bucks. Spray it on your club face when you go to the range. Really, really good, good feedback. Okay. Um, with driver, the changes that we made, let's see, it was more so, more from the side here. Tell a pretty big difference. Right. So what was happening before with your driver? The setup was a little bit off, and you're trying to figure out, man, where do, where do I put my hands? And so I wanted you to pretend that there was a laser shooting right out of this golf club, and I wouldn't mind it even a little bit lower. I want it right towards that belt line, okay? Um, slight, slightly to the left of the belt line, but somewhere in there. Um, what was happening before? The hands are pretty high. I think you're exaggerating here, but I think the hands are kind of where the belly button were, or even a little bit higher. And so we want those hands low. What that does, it helps us hit the tee out of the ground. And so I wanted us to make some swings where we're knocking the tee out, and I'm starting to see the bottom of your right shoe. Because what was happening before, um, you're, you're, you're swinging, it was flat-footed. Oh, and then that's me showing you exactly what I want right there. Um, so... I guess I didn't get video of you. Oh, I did. I did. So this was the before swing. Oh, yeah, maybe not. All right. I didn't get the video of you staying flat-footed with your driver, but it was happening. <laughs> then finally, we were doing uh, some, some of the, the favorite shots that I had. It was with the box, once we really started focusing on the footwork. Um, this just gets you brushing the grass in the correct spot. When you brush the, the grass in the correct spot, the ball, it pops up. Um, so focus on that. The ball will pop up. You start to catch it in the center face. You hit some good shots out there.